important decodes in early IDOX. Okay. So we have already seen some very important T code like WE02, WE05, BD87, WE19, right? So these T codes already we have seen. We have already seen about WE02, right? We have also seen about WE05. We have seen about BD87. We have seen about WE19. We have seen about WE20, right? We have seen about WE57, okay? So WE02 and WE05 for the purpose of displaying the IDOC, all right? Displaying the IDOC. And then we are having WE05 also for the purpose of displaying the IDOC. Right and BD87 is for the purpose of retriggering the IDOC. Right, so for retriggering the IDOC, so you can retrigger the inbound IDOC and outbound IDOC both. Right, in, in inbound IDOC, 100% it's going to trigger your function module but in outbound IDOC if the function modular masses control is there then only this BD87 will work otherwise not so for inbound IDOC without any second thought you can go for BD87 or WE19 okay but for outbound IDOC just you can go and check with BD87 or WE19 by running right so here for retiggering the IDOC. So here, this is also for retrieving the IDOC for both inbound and outbound. WE24 partner profile, very important T code, partner profile, and WE57 for you know, message type and function module linking. Okay, so if you know the message type, right, if you know the message type, you will just go and check that particular message type is linked with which particular function module so generally for inbound idoc this is going to be very useful so for for inbound idoc you know we57 we can directly go and check for that particular message type which function module is there and we can go and put the breakpoint right so these are some important t code now another set of important t code we are having this has one one this is this is one set of important t code which is going to be useful for uh you know debugging another set of t code which we have one is bd10 so bd10 suppose if you have to send the material master data from one system to another system right so material master then bd12 10 12 14 just remember so this is your if you want to send your material master record from one system to another system right material master data so material master data another one is the bd12 is the customer master data from one system to another system material master data from one system to another system okay now bd10 we are done bd12 we understood what is for vendor master all right what is for vendor master we know that these are the master data which are heart of our ecc all right These are the core master data of ERP, of any ERP, right? So that's why this T code is quite important, okay? Vendor master data from one system to another system, all right? So these are the T codes.